female microbiome versus a male's microbiome? Are they fundamentally quite different? We do see differences between men and women, and this tends to actually happen when girls hit puberty. We see this kind of divergence between men and women. We see through menopause where we see this kind of fluctuating decline in sex hormones. That microbiome then becomes more similar to the man's microbiome as well. Emily Leeming is a gut health scientist and dietitian exploring how the microbiome shapes our mood, metabolism, and mindset. The more sex that we have with somebody who's got a good gut microbiome, <laughs> the better our own gut microbiome will be. And you're transferring just by kissing someone for more than 10 seconds. Did I say 80 million? 80 million microbes from one mouth to another. The people that you live with and particularly are intimate with, you have a more similar microbiome with them. Pick your partner wisely. And there's a part in your book that talks about emerging research that shows that men's gut microbes can influence sperm production and fertility. We see that in my studies, for example, that by giving a mouse healthier gut microbiome, you know, their, their sperm kind of dramatically increases in numbers and health. There was a great study that came out a couple of years ago that showed that six servings of fermented food a day increased microbial diversity. So everything that we touch and eat has live microbes in it. An apple has a hundred million live microbes. Gut health doesn't have to be complicated. I think it's been way over complicated. Let's just go back to what are the small important things that you can be doing that completely intuitively fit within what are the key principles that you can apply.